Hello everyone and welcome to episode 38 of the TW2020 Pro Wrestling Noah series here on the channel as we are now in the year 2015. I can't believe it. For five years into the save now. Uh, after this tour we'll be almost at 100, or 350 shows run which is so many shows. <laughs> that's, that's a shit ton. But uh, this tour, the first navigation of the year. Of course, we have a lot of matches that have been building since the previous year, thanks to uh, the Global League and all that jazz. But uh, before we go through the card and whatnot, I hope we can go through the awards and kind of see what's going on there. As uh, Brian Danielson, this is the wrestler of the year, Lactor 7 got the tag team of the year. Shockingly enough, I, I for one, was stunned. I thought it was going to be Kings of Wrestling again, uh, having a repeat performance, but... No, as uh, that's a you know our first, uh, you know back to back wins for for us. So that's great. Uh, Young Rest of the Year was Yoshiko, as uh, which we would have had back to back if it was somebody else, but was not. Better in the Year again was Jericho. Female of the Year was Mickey James for the fifth time in her career. Funny enough, John Moxley wins the Independent Wrestler of the Year, even though he's on a developmental contract with WWE. I love that. Uh, company of the Year was WWE. Most Improved was Crash. Match of the Year was a Daniel Bryan, CM Punk Extreme Rules match that got 100. Vengeance, which weirdly enough got a 98 last year as well. As, um, well, hopefully one of these times we can get the Car of the Year. Manager of the Year was Paul Heyman. Announcer of the Year was Joey Styles. Color Commentator was also Paul Heyman. And Referee of the Year was Red Shoes, who we stolen from New Japan. Ah, we got that award as well. As for the, um, Let's go back to now look at the uh, Power 500. It's Brian, Cena, Jericho, Punk, and Samoa Joe were the top five. Our uh, first person is Claudio Castagnoli at 14. Alex Shelley being 12, that was pretty awesome to see. As uh, then the first New Japan guy, Shinsuke, at 16. Claudio, we could very well thank these 299s and this 98, and the, actually 298s, well, the three, if mean, you could go with the tag team color matchup as well, of Laughter 7 and, and them, but, yeah, I mean, just the incredible December he had. 299s and a 98, and he won two of the three matches, so that helps him out as well. But that, that's it's cool to see Tanashi was 19th, Mystico was 18th, Chris Hero was 21st, Shibata and Okada and Goshizaki were 22 to 25. Those got a new picture as well. Devitt was 28th, Abushi was 29th, Naomi Jamar Fuji was 30th, uh, Liger was 34, Ishii was 35, Daisuke was 37, Eugenio and Yuji Kobayashi, so the Yuji's were back to back, and 39 and 40, uh, which is, well, uh, Shingo was 43rd. And I want to say Morishima's 44th, but we'll now switch to just Pro Signella. Yeah, 44th and 45th was Shuji Shikawa. Sakuraba was in the top 50, shockingly enough. I, I think, honestly, that's because of the tag run now. Kendo was 51st. Goto, 57th. Kensuke, 60th. 63rd for Yoshino. 66th for our GHC Everweight Champion, Tetsuya Naito. Miyahara was 75th. Omega, 76, Manabu Suya, 78th, Dexter Jr. is 80th, Mama Yan got into the top, uh, you know, as far as the 84th. That's pretty nuts. You could probably thank the Okada match for that. Nariki Doi, 86, Sonata, 87, Sujora got into the top 100. So did Nakajima, Kushida right at 100, Pac, uh, 102, Nuki Tanasaki, 105, Suzuki, 116, Keno, 121, Ishimori, 129, 130 for our Current GHC Junior Heavyweight Champion, that's get right on the Sombra, thanks to the CML run, uh, specifically. Uh, we probably heard his cause a little bit more thanks to uh, some of the matches that we booked him in. That's Taguchi, 139, 146 for Nozawa, Kyle O'Reilly, 148. Takeshi Rikio, thanks to the DT run, got into the 155 range as uh, Eddie Edwards, 156, Falter is 158, Takayama, 165, Keisuke Ishii, 167. Grace Asuke got into the uh, 188. Roosh with 191. 200 for Super Crazy. Koei Sato at 203. Roger Strong 205. Tai Chi went, uh, 230, 213. Bobby Fish 226. Katoge with 230. Katoru Suzuki and Minoru, Suzu uh, Minoru Tanaka rather as uh, Katoru Suzuki and Minoru Tanaka 231, 232. 
Ricky Barber, 248. Sushioki, 264. Kakanuma, 266. Jurakiyama, 351. Alex Payne at 387. Uh, and then slash Kuyasuji at uh, 404. Takashita, 436. And somehow Ogawa made it into the top 500 thanks to Smash as he got 495. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. As for our card here, we have, uh, of course, our, our four big title matches of uh, GHC Emerald o uh, title matchup, Kazuchika Okada vs. Tetsuya Naito. GHC Emerald Openweight title matchup in, in the co main event, Haruki Goto vs. Tomori Ishii. Of course, the new champion, Tomori Ishii, looking to make his first defense against his Money and Mayhem partner. And uh, we'll, we'll see how that match goes. Uh, you know, the, so far in the mod, it's been an 87 every time. It might be a, something in the 90-plus range, though, I think. I got a great feeling about it. Junior Heavyweight Tag Team title matchup, Live Strong, Die Hard versus Golden Lovers. GHC Junior Heavyweight title matchup, Kyle O'Reilly versus Daisuke Arada. And then uh, Daisuke Sakamoto with Shuji Shikawa, Koei Sato, and the Great Sasuke taking on the Kings Wrestling. So, um, Yujiro Kobayashi has badly herniated its uh, disc in his back. After surgery, he's going to be out for seven months, which is tough. Obviously, he just won the GHC Tag Team titles uh, with Daisuke Sakamoto. So, instead of vacating the belts, Shuji Shikawa is going to step in and uh, be his replacement partner. So, it's going to be Daisuke and Shuji Shikawa as the tag champs going for, uh, going forward, which um, I, I think that's going to be a great team, though. It's, is it going to be on the same level of Yuji Kobayashi and Daisuke Sakamoto? Obviously not, but I think it's still going to be a very good team. And then the Muscle Bombers, uh, all the, you know, as far as, uh, Takeshi Morishima, Yuji Hino, against Go Shizaki, Dei Michiwama Fuji in a tag match. That should be a hell of a tag match. And then another tag match for Kensuke Sasaki and Kendami Ahara against, uh, Saya Sanada and Manabu Soya, Los Angobra Nabare Stay Upon. Then an 8 man to kick off the show, Laughter 7, taking on Suzuki Goon, which is going to be Kenta, Minoru Suzuki, and the junior guys of Taichi and Yoshinima Kanemaru. As uh, that is the card, pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing, you know, as far as we got our four title matches, we got our four undercard matches. It's pretty perfect. After this tour, we will have our uh, first navigation that's going to be outside the U.S. Since we tried to do uh, way back when, when we actually tried to do the uh, tour in Germany, uh, as far as uh, we're going to have our first navigation in the U.S., as uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. I think the size right now of our company in the U.S. is not that bad. It's, um, we'll just kind of take a look real quick. As um, it's 35s across the board from where we're pretty much going to run. I'm not sure if we're going to go southwest or tri-state. But um, I, I think it's going to be a great little idea to do. And uh, if we can get to the large size of a promotion, I mean, that'd be awesome. I think we have a very good shot of doing that. Our money is in a great spot. We're looking to keep on improving Russell Universe uh, throughout the time that we, you know, as far as we, we keep it rolling. And uh, I think this should be, hopefully, a successful tour. And uh, hopefully 2015 is a year to remember for Pro Wrestling Noah. As I have pre-booked two matches for each of the eight tour shows. So we're only going to have to book four matches for each card. So it'll be a little faster. I just kind of was looking through. I was like, oh, you know, I kind of have an idea of how I want this tour to go. So just went ahead and pre-booked it to make it a little easier on everyone. To make this a little condensed as um, our first two matches we have is going to be a Brave Muscle Bombers matchup and the Money Man versus LIJ matchup. Which should be pretty good as backstage instance. Roki Goto's brought four versus court. Accused of making a mess backstage and... Not cleaning it up, annoying everyone else. As the judge, Kazushi Sakuraba, found him guilty and sentenced to clean up and then buy drinks going after the show. For as the tour. Yep, we can get rid of this now. Because yeah, we don't even have to run Axe City anymore. Because we can run, uh, run this. As for... I think this is a better co-main, if I remember correctly, but, um, Brave, Muscle Bomber, Six Man, Go Shizaka's gonna beat Walter here, and then Money Man versus L.I.J., because it's a Six Man as well, but I think this Six Man's a little bit better. Um, I don't know, maybe not, though. 
honestly, to look at this match. Because I really like that, the, uh, the Muscle Bombers matchup as well. That's tough. That's tough, but Kaisuke Ishii's gonna pin Kotoge, though. I think we're gonna go with that as the main. And so, now the undercard stuff. As the, uh, former next stream, or the, uh, future next stream partners, as far as if we do that, but, uh, Koji Omada, Noyo and Nomura, gonna have them take on the team of, let's go with, I think we're gonna go with, uh, Suzuki-kun, Kanemaru and Daichi, I wanna say we have not done this match yet, let's give Kanemaru a win, Yep, next undercard matchup, we'll have Takashita in the singles. And so, I was thinking Yoshitone, but we might do Ogawa. Even though this match will fucking suck. Because Ogawa's definitely gonna get outperformed. But this can start off the show. Alright, and then... I was thinking maybe a tag, and then a singles. As far as, um, maybe Pac and Nuki Tanasaki. Against the team of Aoki and Satoru Suzuki. Good little steal the show match. We've done this once before. So Aoki and Suzuki won. We'll give this one to Nuki Tanazaki, though, as he's going to beat Aoki. Nice. And then the singles match. We have Minoru Tanaka. As far as I can, and, uh... I think it may be Sasuke, or... Give me Keno. Yeah, let's go Keno. Actually, let's go Alex Payne. We haven't done this in a hot minute. Let's pay get the win. I think it's a pretty good show. I mean, we should have, you know, a good show. We're now five years into the save. Be pretty embarrassing if we came and put together cohesive shows. It's 43 for Takashida and Yoshinari Ogawa. As Ogawa getting the one with the backdrop suplex in 10 24. It's like a 43. 51 for the next matchup is Suzuki Goon against Koji Omado and Neo Nomura. As uh, Yoshinabu Kanomura with the deep end back at 9 44. 63 49 for Taichi and Kanomura. 36 and 30 for Koji Omado and Neo Nomura. 66 for Nuki Tanasaki and Pac against Aoki and Suzuki. As a Nuki Tanasaki with the Casanova. So 65 for everybody but Katori Suzuki who was off his game. So was Pac. 62 for Alex Payne and Minoru Tanaka. As Alex Payne with the sweet spot in 1547. 75 for Brave and the Muscle Bomber six man. It's Go Shizaki pinning Walter after the Moonsault. Good stuff for Marfuji and Morishima, so they both got 84s. Go and Eugenia with 79s. And a 62 for Walter and a 47 for Junakiyama. Not enough selling show in this matchup, but still a very, very good little match. With an 80 main event. Right decision there for the main as Kaisuke Ishii pinning Sushi Kotoge in the Neo as in uh, 1946. Okada and Naito, 91s and 82s. 73 for Goto. 64 for Nabusoya. 62 for Kotoge. And then 58 for Kaisuke Ishii there. Wrong guy gets the win there, but that's okay. But still a very good match. As on to day two. Alright, day two. As uh, the two matches. Chris Hero King Devon versus Shuji Shigao and the Great Sasuke. And then Red Dragon versus Momo and Sushin Tag. Obviously, since so we're doing Kyle versus Daisuke Arata, the final show. That just makes a lot of sense. And then Sakuraba's passing on microphone work to Takashida and Psychology to Tetsuya and Go. Perfect. So, Chris Hero, King Devitt, 
Should you should cow in the great Sasuke? As Chris here is going to get the win over the great Sasuke. So not the greatest main event, but I think um, with Hero, Shuju Shikawa, and King Devitt, they will be doing the heavy lifting of that main event for sure. And it still should be a good match, hopefully, there. As the Red Dragon versus Momonosu Shintag. Momonosu Shintag going to get the win as Kadoge over Bobby Fish. As uh, they have, you know, obviously, we've had these guys battle back and forth since the beginning of the series when they were getting 35s at the Shadow Navigation Tour of 2011. And now where they're at, you know, last year during the Jam Boy Tag League, it was a 73 should be around that same rating here. And uh, it's just the, the progress has been shown for sure. As uh, we'll go with singles matches with Tetsuya Endo versus. We'll go with Jun Akiyama. It's always fun to do this match. Even though it was getting like 35s and 33s when we were doing it in the beginning. Oh, why we gave that way too much fucking time. Oh my, that's uh, ten minutes. Jesus, there we go. Junakiyama Tetsuyendo, and we have as far as go with um yeah, both Muhammad Yan Takeshi Mikio. They could have a tag match. We can go with um. Let's go with Taue and Takeo Mori. Something, something like this. You know, just something. A little undercard match. Something for Mamadian to get a win. Oh, and now we just need two more matches. We need to steal the show match. I know that much. As uh, we'll go with the singles. You know, Zack Sabre Jr. versus Yoshito makes a lot of sense to do. We'll have that be the Steel the Show match, but Zack gonna get the win. Talk about a clash of styles, though. But these two, have, they've had, have had a singles match before. Wow! First time. That's pretty cool. That's a cool ass singles match, though. I don't know which... Uh, well, Mama Yan should carry that match, so yeah, I think that's, that's for the best there. So we just need either a better co-main, which we probably will do, actually. As, uh... Let's go with, um... Sakuraba and Taguchi. <laughs> just because I want to see that team. More than anything. Against... Minoru Suzuki... And Kakaduma. It's not really the greatest match on the planet, but it's uh, it's a match nonetheless. Uh, but Kakaduma will get a win over Rice Gutuchi because he needs a win. I don't know if this is technically better than that co main event, but we'll put it there. We'll just keep on going right down the list. We'll run the show. 42 for Junakiyama Tetsuyendo. Junakiyama getting the win at 9.53. 47 for Mohamed Yan and Takeshi Rikia against Takeo Tawe and Takeo Mori. As, uh, yeah, Mohamed Yan and Takeo Mori doing the heavy lifting of this match. It's not a bad undercard match, to be honest. We'll take it. Even though, you know, Tawe's in uh, Rikio's terrible ass is involved. So 69 for Zach Super Junior and Yoshitone. Zach with the PK kick in 12.03. 70 for Red Dragon versus Momo no Sushin Tag. It's Katogi with the Maxim in 2024. It's a 71 for both Kyle O'Reilly and Daisuke Arata. Katogi with a 63. No, 59 for Bobby Fish. As Kyle O'Reilly was off his game. Uh, so they would have been the better team. But hey, but good win though for Mom Momo no Sushin Tag though, nonetheless. 67. Yep, I should have known. Uh, for the next matchup, as what should not have been the co-main event. It's Minoru Suzuki and Kakanuma versus... Kazushi, Sakuraba, and Raisuke Taguchi is Kakanuma getting the win over Raisuke Taguchi. Taguchi was the best guy in the match. Kakanuma was the worst guy in the match. So, was it worth it? Probably not to have Kakanuma get the win. But a 78 though for the main event, so at least we get saved there. As Chris Hero with the Hangman's Clutch on Sasuke in 20 minutes. Hero and Devitt with 80 and 77. Shuji Shikawa with 75, and then the Great Sasuke with a 52. Adds another, yeah, another 
very solid matchup there. As on to day three. Alrighty, day three. As some backstage incidents. And again, it's Zach Robert passing on microphone work to Takashida and psychology to Tetsuya Endo. So two matches and LIJ, Los Gobernables. I believe that's a six man. And then Kenta and Sujo against Laughter Seven. So that should be a good little one two combo there. So yeah, it's a six man. This will probably be the co main actually uh, compared to previous match. But uh, Ken is going to get the win over La Sombra there. Again, Gensuke is the agent. Robert Dutawe. And then Kenta, Sujor against Laughter 7. Laughter 7 are going to get the win. A Shibata is going to be beating Kenta. So that's a huge win for uh, Shibata. We might change the finish of that, actually. We might have Sakuraba get the win, since he uh, could use one you know, over Sujor. All right. As uh, Takashita Nendo, tag match. As uh, they'll be against the team. I mean, we might go with actually Neo Nomura and uh, Koji Omato, actually. We'll just go with the Young Lions. The Young Lion match. Because, I mean, it, he's pretty close in uh, Kanosuke Takashita. He's almost there for that pop to work. Almost there. As, um, give it like 10 minutes. And uh, we'll have Takashita get the win over Neo Nomura. So I want to also make them a team in Koji Omato. And... Wow, we got a lot of pre made teams in Koji Omato and Nomura. I uh, will just have him be called uh, Iwamato. In Nomura. For now, we won't let the uh, next stream name be revealed just yet. So another undercard match that we can do is Volter against, you guessed it, <laughs> Masada Noe. So reliable. We've done this so many times now. First time in 2015. And Walter, of course. Getting the win. Two more matches we need. Uh, we need a steal the show match, I know that much. But uh, we'll go with a tag, first of all. As, uh, I kind of want to just see what an Alex Payne, Ricky Marvin team can look like here. Sometimes you just gotta throw shit at the wall and hope it sticks, but, uh, We'll use Nuki, Tanasaki, and Pac, though. Actually, do Speed Muscle. That'll probably be a little better of a match. As uh, we'll have Nuriki Doi beat Marvin. But I just want to see what... Maybe they have some chemistry. Doesn't hurt to try. To see what's out there. Let's use Takei Omori in the singles. Let's do him. And Tanaguchi. We're really going heavy-handed with the guys that we don't really use all that much this tour. But I think that's fine. I think for the, an undercard, it's not the worst idea in the world, to be honest. I think it's still going to be a pretty good match, though. Or a pretty good show thanks to uh our main event and co-main event so we can kind of get away with stuff like that but if we could get a, yeah about the same can we get a 2400 seater perfect at 28 for the young lions match a little too much faith in it but i mean takashita and endo they're getting there they are getting there so 36 for tanaguchi and takeo mori too i very much underestimated these matches. Takeo Mori gets the win in 938. 51 though for Walter. And Masada Noe is the gacha bomb for Walter in 1002. 67 for Alex Payne. And uh, Ricky Marvin against Speed Muscle is the muscular bomb for Ricky Doi over Ricky Marvin. Not a bad little junior tag match though. Got the crowd buzzing at least. 76 for our co main is Diamond Ring versus LIJ. Kano over La Sombra. 
It's Keno with a 63-49 for the Sombers, worst guy in the match. Uh, 67s for Kenta Miyahara and Manabu Soy, and then Kensuke, best guy in the match, with an 85. Awesome, and a 77 for our main event. As uh, Sakuraba gets the one, the cross arm breaker over Sujor. Sujor was off his game, and he got a 54 because of it. Not great at all, lack of selling too, but Kenta and Shibata doing the heavy lifting of that match. And we uh, we get 74 on the show rating. Not bad at all. On to night four. We're almost at the halfway point of the tour shows. All right, day four. I'm sure this is going to be the Young Lions. Yep, <laughs> as uh, Sakuraba passing on tips on selling. Takashita and psychology to Endo. So we got a Shibata Kushida Kenta Tai Chi match and then a Okada Kaisuke Ishii Naito Roosh match. So that's a pretty good one, too. Um, I would honestly say the Shibata Kushida Kenta Tai Chi match would probably be better than that match. But uh, yeah, we'll be in Osaka for this one. Let's see if we can get a 3,000. Perfect. A park <laughs> is, uh, we'll probably get somewhere different that's not an actual park. <laughs> We'd like to have an actual venue if we can. Yeah, give me an arena. We don't need the park, but uh, yeah, I think this is a hell of a main though. As uh, Kenta gonna get the win over Kushida, that's a great win for Suzuki Goon. And then Okada and Kaisuke Ishii will be losing to Los Angeles Day Opponents. Roosh with a huge win over Kaisuke Ishii. I'm sure Kaisuke Ishii, why well, didn't even complain about it? Because Roosh has, I mean, this pop is pretty decent. Not the greatest in the world, you know, still in the 20s. And, like, Kaisuke Ishii is, like, 50s, mid-50s the whole way. I like, guess it's pretty nuts. So for the undercard stuff. These young lions, they're getting their fucking money's worth. As uh, we'll have singles matches for both. As uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna use, we're gonna use the junior tag champs. Actually, we're gonna have Omega over Koji Yamato in the first match. Omega's gonna get the win, and then Naomura. Now, Yonomura is going to lose to Kota Bushi, and I don't even think it's going to be 10 minutes. I think we're going to let this be like 8 minutes. Because, I mean, he's going to destroy him. It's going to be absolute domination in this match. So, we're going to steal the show match. Yeah, let's uh, Twin Towers of Violence, Mama Yan and Kyo. I know that doesn't scream out, steal the show, but Shuji Shikawa is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting, and uh, he'll, he'll beat Mama Yan as well. In this match. Eh, actually, let's let it be the match just after the Young Lion matches. So I'll have the steal the show match be. After that, I'm thinking maybe a six man here. Yes, uh, let's go muscle bombers. Again, so they're taking on Go and Marfuji. So maybe have Go, Marfuji, and uh, Drew Nakayama. Or even, uh, let's go to Kamori. Make that match a little bit better. Yuji Hino. Actually, Walter. Over to Kamori. It's a pretty good match, though. Especially for a Steal the Show match. Alright. Let's run it. It's a 68 for the opener. Kenny Omega getting the win at 80 to 36. <laughs> it's uh, Kanobushi over Neo and Nomura. 81 to 24. Has Kanobushi the Golden Star Press at 750. Kanobushi's the man at 56 for the tag match that probably should have opened the show, if we're being honest. It's Shuji Shikawa as the Twin Towers of Violence beating Mamadian to Keshi Kiyo. As uh, Shuji Shikawa pinning Mamadian up to Splash Mountain. 
74 for Shuju Shigawa, 59 for both Koi Sato and Mohamed Yan, and Keshikiro with a 37. 76 for the six man of the Muscle Bombers against Brave, slash with Takeomori as Falter pinning uh, Takeomori with the Gacha Bomb. 80 for, oh, 87 rather for Takeshi Moshin, best guy in the match, and 80 for Go Shizaki. 79 for Yuji Ino and Naomi Jamar Fuji. Falter with a 64 and a 49 for Takeomori. Lack selling there, but they got the crowd buzzing. It's an 81 for a, a very good match here between Okada and Kaisuke Ishii against Tetsuya Naito and Rush as uh, Rush with a split legged power bomb over Kaisuke Ishii. What a win! And uh, I can't believe Kaisuke Ishii put him over without complaining. And a 73, yeah, I guess that's what we get for doubting Okada and Naito as uh, a 73 here for our main event as Kenta pinning Kushida after the go to sleep in 1955. Shabbat and Kushida were the better team. Probably should have got the win there, but. Shout out Suzuki Goon. Getting a win in the main. Yeah, I mean, we should have put that way down here and we would have had a hell of a show. Would have been a hell of a show. It's on to night five we go of the tour. Oh, we don't have a backstage incident the first time. How about that? As, uh, why we had a 67 last time here? Oof. That's embarrassing. Yeah, that's. That ain't it. As, uh, yeah, we'll be jumping over Kanto, going into Kyushu. Let's see. 2,800, maybe? It's probably a, yeah, it's probably a good idea. So, our two matches, an eight-man of the Muscle Bombers with the Junior Challengers, Junior Tag Team Challengers, Eddie Edwards, Rather Strong, a Lush Strong Guard, as the Golden Lovers with Brave of Naomi Jamar Fuji and uh, Go Shizaki. So yeah, this is a, a very good match, and I think this definitely deserves to be the main event. Talk about the team on the right, though. That's a hell of a team. And uh, Kota Bushi is going to beat Eddie Edwards. Then Laughter 7 and Suzuki Goon. And the, uh, and the sixth man is we have Kushida and Taguchi with Sakuraba against Suzuki. Or rather, uh, Suzuki Goon of Sakai Sujiura with Tai Chi and Yoshinibu Kanemaru. Sujiura going to get the win over Sakuraba, though. Get that win back. You gotta love that. As uh, we'll have singles matches for both Takashida and Endo here. As Takashida gets to take on Claudio Castagnoli. Because <laughs> this match would be awesome. Should we have done this before? No. Which that will, of course, mean Chris here gets to take on Tetsuya Endo. Which, again, would be a very good match to see. with the tag match of Kakanuma and Minoru Suzuki against Shibata and Minoru Tanaka. Which, even though he's not a Locker 7 guy, being able to team up with him, I think it's being a non-affiliate I mean, Minoru Tanaka, a freelancer, if you will. And he can, we can make this match happen, and it somewhat makes sense, but Minoru Tanaka's going to beat... Takanuma here. Honestly, wouldn't be a bad guy to add to uh, Laughter 7, to be honest, Minoru Tanaka. I think it's a pretty good match. And we need to steal the show. Matchup. Which I think we'll have another tag. Go with old Junakiyama and Takeo Mori. <laughs> uh, so they're going to take on the... Team of Nabusoya and Saya Tanaka. Nabusoya and Takeo Mori. Not the best tour for Takeo Mori, but... I think it should be a, a pretty good show, though. Fingers crossed. Let's run it. Oh, there we go. It's Chris here over Tetsuya Endo. It's Chris here at the Death Blow in 10-11. 71 for Takashita and Claudio as uh, Claudio with the Cola Bomb in 937. 71, that was a pretty good match for the Young Lions. 66 for Junaki Yama Takeo Mori against Manabu Soya and Saya Sanada as Manabu Soya pinning Takeo Mori as 
At least the Kaomori and uh, Jinnok Emma were pretty close. 45, 41. It's not bad. 75, though, for Minoru Suki and Kakanuma. It's Katsui Shibata, Minoru Tanaka. It's Minoru Tanaka with the Minoru Special number 2 over Kakanuma. That's a good little match there. Shibata with an 82, though. Best guy in the match by far. Minoru Tanaka was the second best guy in the match. That's pretty crazy. Six man here. Velaptor 7 and Suzuki Goon. This should not have been the Kome. Sujora pinning uh, Sakurada at the Modified Olympic Slam. Kushida, best guy in the match with 72. We got a lot of 60s. You know, 68 for Gucci, 64 for Sakuraba, 63 for Taichi, 61 for Sujora, and then 58 for Kanemura. 82, though, for our main event, which, yeah, I mean, that team on the right's crazy, though. I mean, you have Marfuji Go, Ibushi, and Omega, 82 to 77 throughout that entire thing. And then you have an 80 and a 78 for the Muscle Bombers of Morishima and Eugene, and then 65 for Eddie Edwards and 64 for Roger Strong. Very good match, those. Kota Bushi, though, with a Golden Star Bomb in 1951. Hell of a main event, and that's a great little show there. We'll gladly take that 81. As we just have three more tour shows left, 6, 7, and 8. As then on to day 6 we go. All right, yes, day 6. Back to the back season. So, then. so we got Jose Aoki's going to... Pass on selling to his protege Nina Nomura. Sakurab passing on uh, microphone work to Takashita and passing on selling to Tetsu Yendo. So, uh, we've got the Kings of Wrestling versus the Twin Towers of Violence, and then Masada Yoshino and Naruki Doi and Pac against Super Crazy Nozawa and Ricky Marvin in a six man, which will steal the show. So, we'll have a better co main than that. But so far, you know, the Kings of Wrestling Twin Towers of Violence match is not really the worst idea for a main event. This hero's going to beat Shuji Shikawa, too. So, that's huge. As, uh, yeah, I mean, but this is, um, we could either have this be the co-main or we can have it be Steal the Show match. I think we're going to go with Steal the Show match, though, as Pac's going to beat Ricky Marvin. But yeah, this is just how fast can you go match. That's <laughs> what that is. That should be pretty crazy, as uh, we're going to have Nuki Tanasaki take on Koji Amato. Nuki Tanasaki gonna get the win. As, uh, let's see here. I was thinking of having Shingo, like Shingo and Rush, or Shingo and Sombra against uh, Takashita and Endo. As well, have Shingo beat. Endo. We gotta change the venue though. That works. Crazy, I haven't ran there since September. So we do need a better co main. I think we're gonna go with Goto and Kaisuke Ishii. Against, uh, yeah, against uh, Manabu Soya Sayas As uh, Manabu Soya gonna be beating Guys Geishi. Hopefully, that's a good enough co main. Hopefully. I'm just happy no one's gotten hurt. You know, with a tour like this, can't be too careful. Can't be too careful. We haven't used Ishimori yet. We might do... I'm trying to think as far as... We might just have him against Ogawa. Not a bad idea. Little undercard match. All right, day six as a uh, fifty-four for the opener. Yuki Tanasaki with Koji Amano. Yuki Tanasaki with the cast Nova nine fifty-four. Fifty-nine for Shingo and Lil Sombra against Takashita and Endo. Shingo with the last Falconry though. As a uh, Sombra got outperformed by Ta uh, Kanasuka Takashita thanks to the excellent chemistry boost. So shout out Takashita. 
64 for Yoshinara Agawa and Taiji Shimori. Taiji Shimori is a Himmel Celia. 73 is 40 for Yoshinara Agawa. 72 for the six man of Pac with Speed Muscle against Ricky Marvin and Perros de Monde of Paul. And as Pac with the Black Arrow over Ricky Marvin. And 1428, very good match there. 76, 72, 74 for Nozawa as well. Good stuff. Is yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good six man. 78 for Goto and Kaisuke Ishii against Manabu Soya and Zaya Sonatas. Manabu Soya getting the win in 2023 over Kaisuke Ishii, tapping him out. Sonata with a 78, best guy in the match. Good shit. There's excellent chemistry and great chemistry. So you can't really go wrong with that match there. That was a fun little match to do. Now our main event is 79, as we have knee ligament damage for Koei Sato. That's unfortunate. I was just talking about how no one's gotten hurt yet. And of course, we had to have an injury, but. It's a good main event, though. Unfortunate about the injury. That sucks. That blows. But uh, on to day seven we go, unfortunately. Well, hopefully, Koi is going to be able to perform, so he's in that eight-man, because there's really nothing else we can do. We could put in Yoshito in that match, I guess, but it'd kind of make the match a little bit worse. But uh, it is what it is. But, yeah, he will be out. And also, Katoge was working in Osaka Pro Show, and he broke his leg. So he's out for five months now. So that's just great. Like, we need any more injuries happening on this fucking tour. As, uh... And we got... So we're gonna have to, it looks like we're gonna have to restart the loop after this. Show as, um... Uh, see if we can get a... 2,300 works for me. We'll sell it out. So our two matches, Okada and Kyle O'Reilly, as the... Challengers taking on the champions of Naito and Daisuke Arata. I think that's a great match, and it's going to go 30. It's going to be a time of draw. Protects uh, everyone in the match. And then Yuki Tanasaki and uh, Pac are going to take on Suzuki Goon, which I think we're going to change that match, actually. Um, I think we're going to change the Yoki and Suzuki, because I think that match is just a little bit better, even though we have just done that. Uh, we did that day one, but it has been a, a little while. It's been two weeks, uh, so... Nice little change of pace. But uh, we'll have Aoki beat Yuki Tanasaki. As, um. Yeah, I mean, it's just unfortunate about that injury, uh, you know, involving, involving Katoge, but, um. I think we're gonna have Shingo. To kind of get the rest of LIJ on the card. With a Rush in La Sombra. As they're going to take on. The team. Of. Hiroki Goto. Actually we're going to go with. Um, let's go with Tomorishi in this spot. And then let's go with uh, Sonata. In this match. In this spot. Yes. Like this a lot. And then Kaisuke Ishii, which we'll have Kaisuke Ishii get that win back. So this is definitely more co-main event as Kaisuke Ishii over Rush. Oh, that's why it didn't register me in this hotel. Alright. So we need to steal the show match. Uh, we're going to go with the Junior Kings versus Yoshitone and Sasuke now. As we'll have Zach beat Sasuke. It's a pretty good night. Pretty good night. Then the undercard. As um, go with tag match. Of uh, Neo Nomura. Koji Omato. Against the team of Suzuki Goon. Oh yeah, we did this night one as well. <laughs> as, uh, we'll uh, we'll, we'll just still use it as uh, we'll have Kanemaru get a win because they could kind of use a win. To be fair, actually, let's just change that out. Let's just go with Takashita and Endo. Last time we've done this. Okay, yeah, perfect. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Not that it matters, but just for for my sake. And uh, we'll have Neymar, Neymar, rather, Jesus, as, um, 
we will be having him lose to Katsuka Nakajima. Because we need Nakajima, even though he's got that chronic shoulder pain, we could use him on this tour. Even if it's just for this match, this opener. She should be good, yeah. Okay, just want to make sure. All right. So 45 for Katsuka Nakajima, Neo and Nomura. Katsuka Nakajima with the British German Suplex and 10 06. 45, I'll take it. 58 for Takashita and Endo against Suzuki Goon. Taichi and Kanamar getting the win. It's Takashita outperformed Yoshideva Kanamura. <laughs> Thanks to Kanamura being off his game, really off his game, but uh, shout out Takashita. 70 for the Junior Kings wrestling against Yoshitoen and the Great Sasuke. This is Zack Sabre Jr. with the PK kick over the, uh, over the Great Sasuke. He was off his game. He was the worst guy in the match. But great performance from the Junior Kings of Wrestling there. 68 for Nuki Tanasaki and Pac against Aoki and Suzuki. And Suzuki Aoki beating Nuki Tanasaki at the assault point. A very good match between the two teams. 77 for Los Ungo Brothers de Japón from Money and Mayans. Kaisuke Ishii over Rush this time in 2003. Seishi, best guy in the match, with 83. Then Goto, second best guy, then Shingo, then Sonata, then Kaisuke Ishii, and then Rush. 76. Surprised that this didn't do better than the previous match, but I'm surprised it didn't get into the 80s. It was uh, this 30 minute time limit draw for Okada and Kyle O'Reilly against Naito and Daisuke Arata. It's a very good match, though. We'll take it. 75, though. Good little show. Good little show. It's our final tour show coming up now, day eight. And then we'll be ready to run the final show. And that first navigation will be in the books. All right, as our final tour show, we got some fun little matches here. As we'll go back to Chugu. 2000. This time we'll do. Yeah, we'll just run 2700 this time. So we got a Diamond Ring plus Kyle O'Reilly versus LIJ matchup. And then the Muscle Bombers versus Naoki, or Naomichi Mafuji and Jun Akiyama. Not the most high power matchup, but Daisuke Rai is going to beat Kyle O'Reilly, though, to prelude to their title match. And then the Muscle Bombers against Marfuji and Jun Akiyama's Walter is going to beat Jun Akiyama there. So yeah, we, we could use some more firepower for this show, for sure, as... Um, Let's go with a six, man. Let's just go with uh, Kenta, Suji, and Suzuki against Laughter 7 with Kushida. We need some firepower. So we have not done this match. Because Kushida's going to beat Minoru Suzuki. So shout out Kushida. Getting a huge win. So yeah, it's definitely the co main. Could even be the main event, honestly. Yeah, I think we're gonna have it be the main. I gotta have a little bit more faith in it than that LIJ match. Because it's... I mean, it, it's fine, but I don't think it's gonna be better than that. But who knows? I mean, Kinsuke's in that match, and Kyle does pretty well for himself, so is Kenta Miyahara. So it could be a pretty good match. As, uh, let's go with... Keno and Nakajima. Against... Rush. Or actually, let's go. Yeah, let's go Shingo and Sombra. As Nakajima, we need to change Nakajima's picture. He will be beating Le Sombra. That's a pretty good match, though. If Nakajima wasn't hurt, the harder card stuff. And we need one undercard match and a steal the show match. So the opener is going to be Kanasuka Takashita, Minoru Tanaka. Actually, Mamadian. So Mamadian get a win. He could use it. They haven't had a singles match before, anyways. Let's actually have this be steal the show. I have faith in it. Got faith. Let the young lion go. And then we'll have a six man of Iwamato, Nomura, and Tetsuya Endo against the team of Suzuki Goon. So 
Kinamar, Kakanuma, and Tai Chi. Kakanuma can beat Nomura. And that's the tour. As far as uh, the, the Road 2 shows, before we get to our end of our first navigation, we'll get to the final show. 55 at the opener. That's not bad at all. To be honest, as uh, it was still very really terribly but, uh, in the game. But uh, for what we usually do for our openers, that's not bad. As Kakanuma gets the win in 9.33. 55 for Mamanyan and Kanasuke Takashida. We put a lot of faith in the kid at each Kind of fell under the pressures. He was off his game. Really off his game. But uh, Mama Yan. It was a 58 though. So I mean, at least he did his point. As he gets, he, if he gets the win in 12-18. A 66 for Keno and Nakajima. Against La Sombra and Shingo. Right team wins. But uh, interesting match though. I'd, I'd love to see this. Nakajima gets the win. With a bridging German suplex in 16-05. 71 for the Muscle Bombers. Against Naomi Jamar Fuji and Junaki Alice Walter. With a double fucking bomb in 1957. Some excellent chemistry from Walter and Yuji Hino. As then Kensuke Sasaki and Kendo Miyahara against Ky and, uh, Kyle O'Reilly against Los Ingobernables, the opponent Daisuke Arata with the Arata pistol over Kyle O'Reilly. Good little match. Good little match. Everybody was in the 70s but Manabu Soya. Very good main event. No, not even the main event. It's a good co main event. It's our main event. The right decision to have this be go on last thanks to Shapata's 86. Has Kushida. Having out Minoru Suzuki, the Kushida lock. Great performance there. Kushida outperforming Minoru Suzuki by 10 points. Poor Minoru Suzuki. Throwing the fucking towel on Suzuki Goon. I mean, it, Suzuki's falling by the wayside. Sujor's f collapsing. Takayama's a shell of his former self. Like those three specifically. Falling apart. But 79 for the show. Yeah. It's on to the final show of the tour. And, uh, I mean, this should be a hell of a. First navigation, though. And that, I think that's a hell of a month. I mean, we really didn't have a bad month. A couple of injuries, which, you know, sucks. But that's uh, par for the course when you have a tour like this. Plus, having talent being injured on other shows doesn't help, too. But looks like Dragon Gate and Big Japan are trying to improve their roster. I know um, Namora got signed to a handshake yum, And I think that's fine. Let him improve. Work in Big Japan. But, uh, yeah, on to the first navigation. Alrighty, as, uh, let's see, put it at Wrestle Universe. So they got us in Jinju Stadium, which, uh, is, is pretty fair. You know, we'll probably run there as Nozawa. Well, actually, I don't know. We probably can run the Tokyo Dome, maybe, as, uh, Nozawa. Got everyone in a good mood. They set up a pancake station, started cooking for everyone who wanted them. Way to go, Nozawa. <laughs> as, uh, I didn't mean to hit that, but get to see a bit of the card, even though we already showed it. So, yeah. 60,000 on hand. I don't think that will be enough for the Tokyo Dome, because that, of course, is at 70,000. I mean, it'd be pretty close to sell out. But, um... You know... Ah, fuck it. Why not? Why not? 140,000, uh, it, it should... should pay off pretty well. Should. We'll see. Uh, how it goes is our main event, of course, Okada, Naito for the GHC Everweight title. And the Rainmaker gets the win, beating Tetsuya Naito. What a run, though, for Naito as far as he's the champ for 224 days. Four defenses, which um, is tied for the second most in the series. Of course, Kenta has the most with seven from his... I mean, that was the, the second reign ever in the series. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's going to be Okada's first reign, and the sky's the limit for that man. And then the co-main. The Money Man members battling it out. As Tomorishi's going to get the win. And that'll be his first defense of the Cheats and Mode Openweight title. Then we have the junior tag team title matchup. Live Strong Die Hard versus the Golden Lovers. What a win for Live Strong Die Hard. Shockingly upsetting the Golden Lovers. As uh, Roger Strong is going to beat Kenny Omega. And this is going to be awesome. You know, this their run as GHC Junior Tag Champs has been incredible. They have had uh, one of the better reigns, again, tied for second best. There's been three teams that have had uh, three defenses. Devin, Deguchi, Paolo 55, Loki and Kanemara, and uh, Aoki and Suzuki. Uh, but, um, yeah, I just, I feel like this is, it's now or never with Lift Strong Die Hard. I think they deserve this win. 
And that's a huge win. And Kyle O'Reilly and Daisuke Arata. Kyle O'Reilly, the new GHC Junior Heavyweight Champion. So three out of the four title matches get changed hands to start off the year as, uh, man, Kyle O'Reilly, another guy who I think this is his time. That's Daisuke Arata's reign. He's had the belt for 118 days, one defense. Uh, so thanks to getting the belt during the Junior Global League and the Global League, was able to have a pretty hefty reign despite only having one successful defense, which um, ties Zack Sabre Jr. for his uh, one defense. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's it's going to be awesome. You know, I think Kyle O'Reilly uh, being the first guy who's in all the belts and Zack Sabre Jr. as well. So that's, um, that's his first reign with the belt as well. I think it's well-deserved. I think he should outperform Daisuke Arata. I don't know, though. We'll see. Daisuke Arata has been uh, having some pretty good performances, though, as of late. As now the uh, eight-man here of Shuji Shikawa. With Daisuke Sakamoto and uh, Yoshitone and Grey Sasuke against King's Wrestling. If Devitt's going to beat Yoshitone there in 20 minutes. Then the Muscle Bombers against Go and Marfuji. As Go is going to get the win for Brave. As uh, Go Shizaki and Nimichi Marfuji are going to get, uh, you know, as far as we'll see what happens at the navigation in the U.S. But that's a, a great, great win for Go Shizaki and Marfuji. That builds them up for in the uh, tag team rankings, for sure, with that win. Then, uh, in Kinsuke, in Kenta Miyahara, against Manabu Soya, and Saya Sonata. Uh, Sonata, gonna get the win over the, the Diamond Ring team. That's, that's a huge win for him, and that should be a pretty good match. That should be really, really good. And then, Laughter 7, against Suzuki Goon, and a Steel Show match that's gonna go 20, as Kushida's gonna get another win, as he's gonna beat Tai Chi. As, uh, yes, um... Cowboys used too much. Other than that, we're good to go. As, uh, we'll, oh. We'll have that be Kimsuke. Did that fix it? Nope. Still giving too much. Drew Nakayama. Wow. Now Drew Nakayama's giving too much. Sasuke. Perfect. As, uh, we'll... Go to the pre-show matches. We'll go with a singles match first. As we'll have Keno. Against Jun Akiyama. Because why not? Keno gets the win. Oh. Jun Akiyama can't really work that long anymore. About 16. Wow. Hard times for Jun Akiyama. Ten minutes it is. Oh, was not paying attention to see Val oh, Saibusa. Let's uh let's go Sasuke and let's go Saido. Okay. In the next pre show matchup will uh, be a tag. It's like a junior tag here. We'll go with uh, Sombra in Orush. Against Speed Muscle. Is Yoshino going to get the win? Pretty good performance there from Speed Muscle. Alrighty. That is the first navigation as it's the end of the LIJ era. As far as for the GHC Heavyweight Championship run for Naito. Pretty historic. As we'll see. I mean, 80 for the first of the two pre-show matches. Masada Yoshino was a 92. It's crazy. As he gets the one with the lightning spiral. 1332. Almost 60,000 on in the Tokyo Dome. We got them packed to the rafters. 66 for Keno and Junakiyama. It's the right high kick for Keno in 1004. 75 for the opener as Kushida with the Kushida lock over Tai Chi. Shibata with a 94. 90 for Kenta. 78 for Kushida and Sakuraba. 69 for Taguchi. Kushida was off his game too, so he could have been even in the 80s. And uh, 64 for Suzuki, 63 for Tai Chi and Kanemaru. Says, yeah, Suzuki Goon at the bottom of the barrel right now. But uh, they're very, very good match here at um, Kensuke and Kento Miyahara against Manabu Suya and Saya Sanada. Sanada with the Moonsault over Kento Miyahara. Kensuke, best guy in the match on the 83. Uh, Sanada and Manabu Suya outperforming Kento Miyahara. So even though Kensuke had the better performance out of everybody in the match, at least the guy with the worst performance takes the fall. 
And then the Muscle Bombers losing to Gosha, Zaki, Naomi, Jamar, Fuji. Great tag match here. That's going to be a tough match to beat, but that's a hell of a match, though. Let's go get in the one the limit break in 21-43. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, that's, that, this tag division's insane. Insane. And 88 for the eight-man, too. Even with a 53 great Sasuke. It's King Devitt getting the win the Bloody Sunday in 2011. Yeah, man, everybody in this match was fantastic, but Yoshitone and, and great Sasuke. Even then, Yoshitone's 65. It's a 72 for the GHC Junior Heavyweight title matchup as Tyler Riley gets the win with the ankle lock in 1943, and he is your new Junior Heavyweight champion. He does outperform Daisuke Arata. And I think it's a great match, and that's a great win for Kyle Riley, a guy who's been a global Junior League winner and gets the the, the big moment and getting, starting off the first navigation as the GHC Junior League champion of 2015 now. It's a great, a great win. 87 for the GHC Junior Tag Team. Even our Junior Tag Division's getting crazy. It's Kota Bushi and Kenny Omega. 94 and 82. That's insane. It's Roderick Strong. I mean, Eddie Edwards of Live Strong Die Hard. Get the win as Roddy with the sick kick into the Die Hard driver over Kenny Omega. And what a huge win for Live Strong Die Hard. They get their first reign and Golden Lovers putting over the kids there. That's that's a hell of a junior match. And then this. GHC and World Openweight title matchup. It, it did hit the 90 mark as Tomorishi. Getting his first defense. He gets it with the Lariat over his Money and Mayhem. Stablemate in 25-40. What a win. And let's see how the main event does. Can, it, can finally a Tetsuya Naito match pull off a great... Yes, it does. And Naito outperforms him too. How about that? <laughs> as uh, Kazuchika Okada gets the win with the Rainmaker in 32-04. And your new GHC Heavyweight Champion, Kazuchika Okada's The Money and Mayhem Era, is a go. They have the GHC Emerald Openweight title. They have the Heavyweight title. And uh, they're eyeing maybe some more gold here. As what a fucking show, though. We had a lot, of, a lot of light blue on the card. They had more light blue than dark green, which is a great sign. I can't wait for the day when we have a, a full light blue card. <laughs> That's when you know that series is... Uh, Hit the uh, hit the mountaintop for sure. Yeah, I mean Okada. Actually, let's give Tetsuya Naito deserves his due. You know, he was the best guy in that match. He was fantastic. Kotobushi getting a hug as well. Thanks for putting him over. And uh, Kyle O'Reilly for his moment. He gets a hug. A lot of hugs here. And so that will do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. And our next tour will be our first tour in the U.S. And not only is it going to be that historic for that reason, but it's also going to be the tour where we crown our first ever GHC Openweight Six-Man Championships as uh, our, our Six-Man Champions. It's going to be in a tournament. It's going to be a, I want to say we're going to have an eight-team tournament. Might be more by the time we get there, but it's, uh, I think it's going to be a hell of a, have a turn a, a hell of a tour to do that in you know as far as to have uh you know uh, new champions be crowned in the u.s and i think it's going to be awesome and, and to add to our title regime adding to five titles i think it's it's time you know i think our roster is definitely ready for it our, our trios have been uh we've got a lot of great trio teams you know and our stables are, are pretty locked in and i think uh i think it's time and uh, we're gonna, that's what we're going to do going forward. So, yeah, that's uh, what we have to look forward to going uh, in, in the future here for our next episode. So thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everyone.